welcome to Confessions of a Yarn Addict. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops. And today I have a slightly different episode for you. Uh, I set myself a challenge before the weekend to finish two projects that have been on the needles for a while. One of them I cast on while we're in Norway over Christmas and New Year, so at the end of December. And the other one I cast on um, while I was in Spain uh, for a week at the beginning of March. Um, and since I came back from Spain in the middle of March, I had to put that design on the on hold because I had too many uh, magazine deadlines to work on. So I set myself a challenge over the long weekend uh, to try and finish both of them. So this is the story of how I got on with that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. It is um, Good Friday, so the start of the Easter weekend. Uh, earlier this week, I finished um, the second of two new design commissions that I've been working on straight after each other. So I did came back from Spain, middle of March, I think, and I started immediately working on one design commission, finished that, and then I immediately cast them for another one. And that's uh, designs that are due for magazines. Um, so they had a set deadline and I do have another one which I need to finish by by 10th of May I think um, but I'm having decided I'm going to spend a few days working on some um, new self-published designs that have been on hold for a while so I've actually got three and I'm going to try and finish two of them this weekend um, so I finished the um, latest design commission from magazine on last Tuesday I think it's Friday today so I immediately picked up this design this is a cow looks very long but it's going to be folded um, inside so it's like a double-sided cow or double thickness cow so I had got to probably about there before I put it on hold a while ago and then since Tuesday I've knitted that much I think I knitted probably like let me see to there no, probably, yeah, since Tuesday I've knitted, I think probably on Tuesday I knitted about there and then um, Wednesday I knitted nearly a full repeat and then I put it on hold um, and worked on something else and I picked it up again last night. So I put a marker, so last night I started here, didn't do as much knitting yesterday as I normally do because normally I do most of my knitting in the afternoon and evening and yesterday I was out all afternoon so I only got like my evening knitting time. So that's where I started yesterday evening. So I knitted a few rows on this yesterday evening. Um, so I've got one, that's one repeat. That's the second repeat and I got the third repeat. So I got most of a third repeat to do, I think about um, 27 rows or something, 27 rounds to do, so not too much. So I might actually get that done tonight. I don't know, we'll see but I um, really want to finish this this weekend. Um, because it is spring now, I may not actually pub release it till the autumn. So once I've finished it, I might get the pattern done and then actually put it on hold till the autumn. I actually designed this to use for workshops um, and I'm not due to teach that workshop oops, for the next um, few months over the summer anyway. So I might put that on hold till the autumn, we'll see. Love my rainbow bag. And then we've got this project, which I cast on. I took to Spain with me in March. And I, um, so, with this. so this is my uh, Sapphire shawl, which I've actually, um, it's actually hanging next to me here. I haven't released it yet. It was originally published in the Knitter magazine. Um, and um, the rights have reverted to me and the sample came back. I got a big box of samples back from the knitter last autumn. So I've been slowly working my way through them. So I was going to just release it in this yarn, which is uh, Sweet Georgia. I can't remember the base off the top of my head. Um, it's the one skein shawl, so like 100 grams of sock yarn, four ply yarn, fingering right yarn. Um, I haven't, the pattern is ready, I just haven't photographed it yet, but I decided that I would um, re-knit it in uh, Manos del Uruguay Fino because I've decided I want to stock Fino in my online shop and I need some samples knitted up. So, 
I took this to Spain with me in March, beginning of March. And I kind of hoped that maybe I would be able to knit the whole show the week I was in Spain. Well, that didn't work. I probably got about... I probably got to about there while we were in Spain. So probably about there. Right there. While I was in Spain. And then this week I worked on it a bit. And I got to about there. So last night I got to where that marker is. Um... So I did a couple of rows, four rows last night. Um, so the yarn I'm using, the Fino, actually has a bit more meterage than the yarn I used for the original. So I've managed to do one extra repeat of one chart and I'm doing another repeat of the second chart. So this will be hopefully slightly bigger. Um, we'll see how much it'll stretch out when I block it. Um, yeah, quite pleased with it. Um, it's looking good. Um, I would really like to get this finished this weekend. I don't know whether to prioritise this first and then work on the cow. Because if I could get this finished, I could get block it and get photos done by Wednesday. Like by the end of Tuesday, I could then get my tech editor to have a quick look at it just to double check it. And then I could print it off at home on Wednesday and then take it to... Um, Wonderful with me because I don't have any samples knitted up in Silk Blend Fino. I have the yarn, but I don't have any samples knitted up. And I don't know, most of the yarn I sell at shows is when I've got samples knitted up. So, yeah, wonderful. Next weekend, um, we leave on Thursday. So, I'm wondering whether I prioritize this today and tomorrow and see how much I can get done and try and finish this this weekend. Um, Cow will probably be quicker to finish, but I'm wondering whether I prioritize this first and see if I can get this finished today and tomorrow so that I can get the pattern ready by Monday. The pattern has to go back to my tech editor for just like one final read through. We've done all the edits. Um, she just need to check the last couple of edits I made and then I need to add photos. So I'm thinking about see if I could get this done. Um, say by the end of Sunday, photograph it on Monday and then get the pattern done and then print it off for um, Wonderful. But we'll see. So today is Good Friday. It's um, quarter past seven in the morning and I've just gotten up. So I'm going to knit for about half an hour and then I'm going to go and work out. don't know what we're doing this weekend, but hopefully I'll get a lot of knitting done. So I will let you know how I get on and see if I can finish these two projects by the end of Easter Monday. Apologies for the bad light. It is uh, Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning, seven o'clock. Just got out of bed and picked up my knitting. Um, that's where I started the weekend on Thursday evening. I was back there yesterday morning, so I've done that much in 24 hours. It's not bad. Um, I didn't do a ton of knitting yesterday. Um, quite busy during the day doing housework in the morning, and then we went out for a long walk in the afternoon. Um, so I mainly knit in the evening really. Um, I think I've got one more repeat of the main stitch pattern and then the edging. But I need to uh, finish a row I'm on, which is the right side row, do another wrong side row. And that's the end of the current repeat. So then I can weigh my yarn and work out whether I can do, how much more I can do. But I think I can do one more repeat of the main stitch pattern and then my edging. So. I may still manage to finish it today. Yesterday I didn't think I would, but I may do. Depends on how much we're in today and how much we're out. But I might even get all that done this evening. We'll see.
finished my show yesterday uh, on Saturday evening. So that's where I started. That's where I got to on Thursday night. And then I knitted about that much on Saturday, uh, Friday and then the rest on Saturday. I had about 300 stitches, 299 stitches at the end. So um, quite a lot of stitches per row, but I got quite a good knitting done last night. So I'm really pleased. It turns out beautiful. So I blocked it last night just prior to bed. Um, and it's, I think it's nearly dry actually. And then I'm probably not going to be able to get photos today, but the plan is to try and get photos tomorrow and then send it off to my tech editor. And hopefully she can do a final check on Tuesday if I'm lucky. And then I can get it printed off ready for, um, ready to take to uh, Wonderwall with me. So that's good news. So I didn't think I would finish this Wonderwall, but I did and I'm really, really pleased. Sunday morning, so apologies for the light. Um, about seven o'clock in the morning, just got out of bed and sat down to do a spin knitting. I'm probably gonna knit for about an hour before I go and shower and get dressed. We're going out to Dartmoor today because um, both the girls are home, so we're gonna go up on Dartmoor. So, this is my color work cow. Um, I knitted from probably about there earlier in the week, and then Thursday evening, I put that marker in. And I knitted a few round on, rounds on Thursday evening, but I haven't touched it since because I've been focusing on, on getting the shawl finished. So now I finish the shawl the rest of the weekend. I'll be focusing on this. I will be casting on for my new design um, tomorrow, I think. Um, probably tomorrow evening, Monday evening. Uh, but I'm going to try and get as much done on this as I can. I only have this repeat left to do so I've got about uh, 27 rounds left to do I think it's about 200 stitches around so I'm hoping I might be able to finish that today but we are going to be out quite a lot today and um, where we're going I can't knit in the car because the roads aren't straight enough for me I can only knit in the car if we're on the motorway and um, there's no point taking it with me because even if we do sit down for a break, it's not going to be the kind of thing I can knit on, really. So um, I will probably knit on it when we get back this afternoon. <laughs> Easter Monday morning and I finished well almost finished my cow last night I actually um, have one round to do and that's it I forgot to do that last night because I wasn't sure that I should do the last round or not and I didn't check my pattern but I've double checked everything this morning and I'm going to do the final round which is just a round in the charcoal gray and then 
I'm going to weave in, um, I had to join in a small ball of yarn up here somewhere because my charcoal uh, ball, I'd used some of that for a swatch. I think I'd actually used both, some of both the balls for a swatch, but I'd used more of the charcoal, so I had to join in another little ball of charcoal. So I'm going to weave in those ends first and then I got to I have to graft the end so I did a provisional cast on down here if you can see can you see there's like a purple cable in here uh did a provisional cast on down here so I'm going to graft this end to the cast off end and then it will be a double-sided cow um I'm going to do two versions of the pattern I'm going to do the kind of easier version where you would do a regular cast on and cast off at the end and then uh, match the stitch them together and then i'm going to do this version which is a bit more difficult but it'll be completely seamless where you do a provisional cast on at the beginning leave the live stitches at the end and then you graft the two together i'm not looking forward to grafting it because there are 200 stitches to graft um there's a lot of grafting to do I was going to do like a regular graft, uh, kitchen, what we used to call kitchener stitch craft. Uh, some people still use kitchener st stitch. Uh, some people don't call it kitchener stitch anymore. I won't go into that now, but um, basically it's a kitchener stitch craft. So that's what I'm planning to do, I think. I did consider doing a Russian graft, which is not as seamless, but it's probably a little bit easier. But it's all since I've done it. Um, so yeah, grafting 200 stitches, a lot of stitches to graft, but that will make it completely seamless. Uh, but you can cast up, do a regular cast in the beginning, cast it off at the end, and then seam it. It doesn't make a lot of difference, I don't think. <laughs>
both designs and I'll show you them both now. So that's the cow. That is one side. This is the side I prefer actually. Um, and then this is the other side. So it is uh, double sided. Um, it was knitted as a tube and then uh, grafted. I can't actually see which under graft. I think I grafted at this end. Um, I prefer the lighter side better but it is double-sided and it takes um, 100 gram of each colour, 400 metres of um, West Yorkshire Spinners Exquisite 4-ply and that's why I made reverse the colours on the other side so that it would use um, one exactly half of each colour. There we go, that's what it looks like on me. I'm not sure when to release this uh, because we're now going into spring, it's April. By the time I finish the pattern and get it tech edited and things, it will be May. So I'll probably not release this until the autumn, um, possibly September. But I wanted to get it finished. I'm also going to use this as a sample for workshops. So that's another reason why I wanted to get it finished, so I can get photos done and use it to promote uh, workshops. So it'll be really lovely and warm and I really like it. And then the other design I finished is the um, Sapphire Shawl. So I originally designed this for the Knitting Magazine and it was originally in um, a different yarn. This yarn is slightly thinner. It has uh, nearly 100 meters more, I think about 85, 90 meters more than the original yarn and I used a smaller size needle. So it does knit up to a completely different tension um, I do more repeats on this one as well. The wingspan is more or less the same, but the depth, the length is more. Um, but that could also just be the way I blocked it. So I'm really pleased that I finished that. I wanted this sample for Wonderwall this weekend um, because I'm stocking this yarn at the moment. So I won't release it online until I get back from Wonderwall next week. So once I release the Sophia pattern, I will uh, pop the link below this video. So if you're watching this at a later date, you can find the link. Uh, but otherwise, check out my um, Payhip and Ravelry shops, which are linked below. And there you'll be able to find this pattern as well when it's eventually re re released in uh, September. So I'm very pleased I managed to finish these two because they've been on the needles for a while um, and it's glad to, good to get something off the needles so I can focus on the next um, stuff I need to do. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.